Welcome to a sensational sewing experience with your new Foff Creative 2140 sewing and embroidery machine. This video was created to guide you step by step through the wonderful world of creative sewing. To easily refer back to specific video segments, reset your VCR counter to zero before starting to play. As a segment begins, note the counter number and technique being explained. To review a specific video segment, simply rewind or fast forward to the setting. Now let's get sewing. The foot control has a retractable cord. Pull the cord out from the foot control until it reaches from the machine down to the floor. Plug the main power cord and foot control into the base on the right side of your machine. Your FOF 2140 has an electronic knee lift for total hands-free sewing. To attach the knee lift, with the flat side of the bar pointing up, push the bar fully into the hole in the front of your machine. Slide the adjustable pad to the level comfortable for you. Your FOF Creative 2140 is your personal creative computer. Turn it on and the welcome screen appears. Touch the eye or information icon. A window appears that explains the most frequently used icons on your FOF 2140. To scroll through the information screen, touch the right or left arrow icon, or touch and drag your finger across the scroll bar. Touch the main or basic menu icon located at the bottom left of your screen to enter the main menu. The main menu gives you access to all the stitches and functions on your 2140. Touch the context menu icon to set your personal preferences such as language or your own personal menus. To set the audio signal preferences, select audio signals. Your FOF 2140 has three different audio sounds for icons and three sounds for when messages appear on your screen. Select your preferences by touching the appropriate icons. Touch OK on the toolbar found at the bottom of the large screen. The OK icon confirms any selection at any time. If it is deep blue, the icon is inactive. Touch Escape to close the context menu. Your next icon is the Creative Assistant. Touch I for a brief description of your main menu. Touch the page icons to page through the description. To exit, simply touch Escape. Notice the active areas on your screen have turned blue, indicating your Creative Assistant is now active. Next, touch Joining. A pop-up Direct Help screen appears explaining your selection. Your pop-up Direct Help is available for every stitch menu, every stitch, and every function of your machine. Touch Escape to continue to preview your Direct Help pop-ups. Your FOF 2140 features a built-in machine assistant that gives you instant information about setting up your machine. Touch the sewing machine icon to activate your machine assistant. Touch sewing. Touch bobbin winding. Your machine assistant will guide you step by step. To open your stitch lid, place your thumb or finger under the lip at either corner and lift. Place an empty bobbin on the bobbin winder aligning the small rectangular hole on the one side of the bobbin with the small black pin on the bobbin winder. Included with your machine are three different spool caps to accommodate any type of thread spool. Choose a spool cap slightly larger in diameter than the spool. For example, use the large spool cap for larger spools of thread and the smallest cap with cone type spools. Place your thread on the spool pin. Slide the cap snugly against the spool, making sure the flat side of the cap is towards the spool. Using both hands, place the thread into guide A from front to back. Bring thread counterclockwise around the pre-tensioned guide B. Wrap the thread tail clockwise around the bobbin. Push the bobbin winding lever to the right. The bobbin will begin winding immediately. When the bobbin is full, the winding will stop automatically. Touch Escape and touch the light blue highlighted needle and bobbin area. Touch Inserting the bobbin for step-by-step -step directions. 
The swing away accessory tray pivots to the left to allow you to open the bobbin door. It can also be easily removed for free arm sewing. Remove the bobbin case from your 2140. Insert the full bobbin in the bobbin case. Pull the thread sideways into the slot on the side of the bobbin case, then under the tension spring. Hold the bobbin case so the bobbin is facing you. Pull the thread, making sure the bobbin turns clockwise. You should feel tension on the thread. Hold the latch on the bobbin case and insert into the machine with a large opening pointing up. Give the thread a slight tug to make sure the bobbin case is securely inserted. To thread your FOF 2140, touch Escape to return to the active screen. Touch Threading. As always, your FOF Creative 2140 Machine Assistant is ready to assist you with step-by-step -step instructions. Raise the presser foot to release the thread tension. Using both hands, slide the thread under the first guide from front to back. Bring the thread around the back of the small tension spring, making sure the thread is pulled fully under this spring. Guide thread down into the left thread slot on either side of the tension disc. Bring thread up into the right thread slot to the take-up lever. Pull the thread into the take-up lever from left to right, making sure it is pulled fully forward into the small hole at the front of the lever. Bring the thread down once again to the guides directly above the needle. Pull the thread behind one of the two thread guides. Now you're ready to thread the needle. Your machine assistant will show you how. Touch Escape. Touch the blue highlighted needle area. Touch Needle Threader. The integrated needle threader automatically threads the needle for you. Lower your presser foot. Press the threader down with the handle. The threader hook will swivel into the needle's eye. Bring the thread around the toe of the needle threader and under the hook. Continue to hold the end of the thread. Decrease the pressure of your finger so the needle threader slowly releases and begins to move upward. At the same time, the threader hook will swivel out of the needle eye and pull a thread loop through the eye. Release the threader and pull the thread through the eye. To bring up your bobbin thread, hold your needle thread. Turn the hand wheel toward you one full revolution. Raise your presser foot. Place the threads under the presser foot and to the back of the machine. Close the bobbin door and accessory tray. You're now ready to begin sewing. On your 2140, it's possible to wind bobbins even when the machine is fully threaded. Raise your presser foot. Guide the needle thread underneath the presser foot and up through the right thread slot. Place the thread from left to right through the take-up lever. Wrap the thread tail clockwise around the bobbin. Push the bobbin winding lever to the right. The bobbin will begin winding immediately. When the bobbin is full, the winding will stop automatically. Your FOF Creative 2140 features the exclusive built-in integrated dual feed system. Unlike a walking foot attachment, this built-in feed system actually walks at the exact same stitch length, speed, and direction as the bottom feed dogs. This translates to perfectly smooth seams that begin and end precisely. Your integrated dual feed can be used with any foot that has a cutout in the back. To engage, simply press down on the ridged area on the back until it clicks into position. To disengage, Grasp the integrated dual feed. Pull down and slightly away from you and release. Fold in half a piece of medium weight woven fabric and position under the presser foot. You can immediately begin sewing the straight stitch by pressing on your foot control. Your FOF Creative 2140 will remind you with a message and an audio signal to lower your presser foot. 
Lower your presser foot using the presser foot lifter or your electronic knee lift. Sew a short seam. When you've completed your seam, press the thread snips button above the needle and gently tap the knee lift to raise your presser foot. The knee lift allows your hands to be free to precisely guide your fabric. When you started sewing, your touch screen automatically changed to the stitch option screen. Your Creative 2140 is ready to sew from any menu. To change the stitch length, touch the plus length icon to 4.0 millimeters. The needle position icon allows you to move the needle to the left and right of the center. Touch the tie-off program icon to open your selection dialog box. Touch the desired icons to set the machine to automatically tie off at the beginning and end of your seam. Once you select tie off end, you can then program the thread snips and presser foot lifter. Touch OK to confirm your selections. Sew another seam and watch what happens when you press the reverse button. Your 2140 will tie off your seams, snip the thread, and pull the thread to the underside of your fabric. Tell your 2140 your preferences and it performs. For techniques like joining, your sewing and embroidery assistant, the garment and hoop icon, gives you information about the best fabrics, the best techniques, and the best applications for your selected stitch. No matter what texture or weight or fabric you are sewing, your FOF 2140 will always produce the most perfect stitches automatically. Applique options are unlimited on your FOF Creative 2140. Touch Escape to return to the main menu. Touch Joining. Touch Icon 3 to select a zigzag. Adjust your stitch length and width to sew a beautiful satin stitch appropriate for your fabric weight and type. Change to presser foot 2. To remove the presser foot on your machine, press up on the front of the foot while at the same time pressing down on the back of the foot. Presser foot 2 has a groove on the underside for smooth feeding over decorative and satin stitches. Also, presser foot 2 does not have a cutout at the back. This means you must disengage your dual feet before snapping on presser foot 2. To attach the presser foot, place the foot directly beneath the sewing foot holder. Align the pins on the foot with the curved cutout. Lower the presser foot and the foot will snap into place. Instant pivoting is easy. Use the needle stop up down button to stop with your needle in the fabric. Program your presser foot to automatically raise to one of three heights or use your electronic knee lift. Touch OK to activate. Fuse a simple shape to a square of medium weight woven fabric. Place stabilizer behind your applique area. Every time you stop to pivot, the needle will remain in the fabric and with your electronic knee lift, raise the presser foot to just the right height. Experiment using other stitches. Try stitches 10, 104, 109, 113, 159, and 178. Choose stitches that will cover the raw edges of your applique. Finishing fabric edges is easy on your FOV 2140. Touch the main menu icon and touch overcasting. Remember, if you're ever unsure what stitch to use for a project, pop-up direct help is just a touch away. Touch the Creative Assistant icon and touch Stitch 19. Your pop-up direct help recommends Stitch 19 for overcasting and joining easily fraying fabrics in one operation. Touch Escape. For information about overcasting on your Creative 2140, consult your sewing and embroidery assistant. Touch Fabric and select the type of fabric you are using. Touch the desired technique, finishing edges, then overcasting. Your sewing and embroidery assistant will tell you the best use for this stitch as well as other important information assuring your sewing success. Touch the Creative Assistant Exit icon to return to your stitch selection screen. Touch Stitch 19. Change to Presser Foot 3. The pin in the center and the red guide on Presser Foot 3 will help support your fabric edge as you sew. Turn the screw on the side
side of the foot to position the red guide to the right. Snap on presser foot 3. Engage your IDT or integrated dual feed. With right sides together, align the raw edge of the fabric against the red guide. Overcast and seam the edge of your fabric. A beautiful, professional finish. Touch Escape to return to your overcasting stitch selection screen. Your sewing and embroidery assistant is the perfect guide when sewing with knits. After selecting your fabric type, touch Techniques. You will notice only techniques suitable for your fabric type can be selected. Your Creative 2140 is the sewing expert, guiding you with the best possible assistance. Touch the Creative Assistant Exit icon to return to your stitch selection screen. Touch Stitch 27 for a stitch that stretches with your fabric. Touch the Tie Off icon. Make your selections. Touch OK. Press your Needle Down button. Fold a piece of ribbing in half lengthwise. Align the raw edge of the ribbing with the raw edge of the neckline. Position the raw edges against the red guide of the foot. As you sew, stretch your ribbing to fit the neck edge. When you stop to reposition your fabric, the needle will stop in the down position. If you programmed a presser foot height, your presser foot will automatically raise to your selected height, or use the electronic knee lift. At the end of your seam, press the reverse button and your Creative 2140 completes your seam just as you programmed. Touch the main menu icon. Touch Utility Stitches. Your 2140 has two blind hem stitch options for sewing invisible blind hems on any type of fabric. Stitch 30 for wovens and Stitch 31 for stretch knits. Touch Blind Hem Stitch 30. Press the hem under to the desired width and pin or baste. Fold the hem back, exposing 3 eighths of an inch of the wrong side of the hem facing. Place the fabric under the presser foot so the red guide of the foot is against the inner fold of the hem. The 3 eighths of an inch extension is positioned under the red guide and pin of the foot. Stitch from the wrong side of the hem edge, making sure the swing of the needle barely pierces the fold of the hemline. Use the adjusting screw or adjust the width of the stitch as needed to achieve an invisible hem on the right side of the garment. The blind hem stitch will create a hem that is invisible on the right side of the fabric. Your FOF 2140 Sensormatic Guide makes flawless buttonholes a reality every time. The sensor manic guide reads the length of one side of your buttonhole and exactly duplicates it on the second. Disengage your dual feed. Slide the sensor manic guide into place from the back of the machine. Snap on presser foot 5, the sliding buttonhole foot. Touch the main menu icon. Touch the buttonholes icon. To find the best buttonhole for your project, just ask direct help. Touch escape. To select your buttonhole, touch the Creative Assistant Exit icon. Then select Buttonhole 48. To adjust your buttonhole, simply touch the plus or minus length, density, and width icons. Place a small piece of tearaway stabilizer under the area to stabilize your buttonhole. Slide the buttonhole foot fully towards you. Slide the sensor matic in until it almost touches the back of the machine. So. Your Fav Creative 2140 and the Sensormatic Guide sews precise, beautiful buttonholes on any fabric weight or type. Perfect every time. From the main menu, touch 9mm decorative stitches. Touch satin stitches. Select stitch 115. Snap on presser foot 2. Place a piece of stabilizer under your fabric for decorative stitching. Sew a row of this pretty stitch. Touch the single pattern icon and a dialog box opens. Touch and drag the dialog box to the lower part of your screen to view your stitches. In the dialog box, touch the plus icon to select two patterns. Touch OK. Your tie-off and thread cutting icons are activated automatically. To program your presser foot to automatically lift at the end of your pattern, touch the tie-off icon, 
then the presser foot icon. Touch OK. Position your fabric under the presser foot. Press your pattern restart button to return to the beginning of your stitch pattern. Touch OK. Begin sewing. The presser foot will lower automatically. Just as requested, your FOF 2140 will sew only two of your selected pattern. Tie off your seams, snip the thread, and pull the thread to the underside of your fabric. Your FOF 2140 has so many lovely decorative stitches for embellishing. For instance, stitches 109 through 116 are just perfect for crazy quilting. Touch Escape. Touch Stitch 112. Use Presser Foot 1. Your IDT, or Integrated Dual Feed, is ideal for smooth, precise feeding through all layers when quilting. Position your fabric under the presser foot so the joining line between two of your fabrics is centered with the red line at the center of the foot. Begin sewing. Your presser foot will lower automatically. Use your needle up-down button for easy pivoting, leaving your needle down in your work. Your electronic knee lift is perfect for quilting techniques too. Touch Escape and select your next stitch. Continue embroidering along all your joining lines. A work of art created by you. Be creative and try all the decorative options on your Fav Creative 2140. Big beautiful maxi stitch borders and motifs are a Fav hallmark. Snap on Presser Foot 8, which provides maximum support to your fabric for directional sewing. Touch the main menu icon. Touch maxi stitches and touch the right arrow until stitch 258 appears in the window. Touch stitch 258, touch the single pattern key, and touch OK. Sew the single pattern. The stitch is sewing in the same direction as shown on the multicolor touch screen. The Foff Creative 2140 knows the direction it needs to sew. All you do is guide the fabric. Large, perfect borders and motifs are always this easy. Elegant, fun, elaborate, hand look. All styles of embroidery that can be accomplished on your Foff Creative 2140 sewing and embroidery machine. Creative card number 300 is included with your Foff Creative 2140. Your machine also comes with two hoops, 220 by 140 standard hoop and 120 by 115 round hoop. Your built-in Creative Assistant has all the answers. Touch the Creative Assistant icon. Touch the Machine Assistant icon. Touch Embroidery. Touch the blue highlighted embroidery unit. Touch Connecting the Embroidery unit. Scroll through the screens to view the detailed step-by-step -step instructions for setting up your embroidery unit. Place the embroidery unit on the level surface directly behind your machine. Slide the unit in towards the back of the machine. Raise the embroidery arm in the area of the recessed grip and pivot clockwise. The embroidery arm will lock into position. Attach the embroidery foot to your machine and lower the feed dogs. Hoop your fabric and stabilizer until it is taut. With the presser foot of the machine raised, slide the hoop under the embroidery foot. Align the tracks on the hoop with the metal guide on the embroidery arm. Slide the hoop into the guide until the hoop clicks into place. Insert the card in one of the two drives on the right side of your machine. From the main menu, touch Embroidery Card. The drive you have inserted the card in will be highlighted. Touch the active drive. Touch the folder to open your designs. Scroll through the designs until you see your desired pattern number on the screen. To edit your design, touch the actual design on the screen to open your editing menu. At the top left of your screen is your selected pattern, the pattern size, number, and embroidery card name. At the top right of the screen are your mirror image icons. Touch the end-to-end -end icon. Touch the side-to-side -side icon.
The stitch by stitch icon allows you to move forward or backward through your design a stitch at a time. Touch the crossbar icon to activate the crossbars, which lets you see your stitch by stitch movement. The color box at the bottom right indicates the color the crossbars are currently positioned on. The left and right arrow icons will move you forward or backward through the design a stitch at a time. Touch and hold the icon to progress more rapidly. Touch Escape to return to your previous screen. The Color Change icon allows you to change the colors of your design right on your screen. A three-section dialog box opens. The top section is active. The small arrow at the top of the color bar indicates the design will stop automatically after each color change. Touch the down arrow to the right of the color bar to move the small black arrow to the M. This tells your FOF 2140 to sew your design in one color with no stops. The other two sections of the dialog box are now active. Touch the down arrow in the first section again. The arrow indicates that the first color of this particular design is black. Notice on your screen that all areas of the design, except black, are inactive. Only the selected color, black, is active and can be changed. Touch the down arrow in the middle box until the black arrow is pointing to the new color you desire. Touch the up or down arrow in the third box to change to a darker or lighter shade of your new color. You've just changed the first color of your design and it appears on your multi-color touchscreen. Once again, touch the down arrow in the first or top box. The second color of the design is now active on your screen. Touch the up or down arrow in the second to select a new second color. Touch the arrow of the third box to select the shade. Continue until you have all the color changes you desire. Touch the up arrow in the first or top box until the black arrow is once again at the top of the color bar. You can now view your color change design. You can precisely place your design using the size, change, rotation, and move feature. Touch the plus or minus rotation icon to change the angle of your design in 5 degree increments. Position your design within the hoop area using the directional arrows. Red lines appear if your design is positioned outside the actual sewing field. Touch the positioning icon and your design will automatically be repositioned to fit in your selected embroidery hoop. You're now ready to sew your design. Your FOF Creative 2140 will remind you to lower your feed dogs so you can begin sewing. Your Creative 2140 will automatically lower the presser foot to just the right height. Press on the foot control to begin embroidering. While the machine is sewing, touch the OK icon to set your machine in automatic embroidery mode. Lift your foot off the foot control. Your FOF Creative 2140 will continue sewing on its own. At the end of the first color, your 2140 will tie off and snip your thread and stop. A message will prompt you to change the color of your thread. The spool of thread in the message window indicates the next color. Re-thread with the second color and resume embroidering. Continue through all colors. If your top thread breaks or runs out, your FOF Creative 2140 automatically stops and a message and audio signal, if selected, will tell you. Touch the OK icon and a dialog box will pop up showing the current color section, the current position of the needle, and the position of the thread break. Whether sewing or embroidering, your FOF Creative 2140 lets you know when your bobbin thread is low. The small light above the needle will flash. The machine will stop and a message will appear in the center of your screen. If selected, an audio signal will sound. To change the bobbin, no matter whether you are sewing or embroidering, fold back your fabric and pivot the accessory tray to the left. Open the bobbin door, remove the bobbin case, and replace the bobbin. Reinsert the bobbin case in the machine using your machine assistant as a guide. Close the door and continue sewing or embroidering. There's never a need to remove your project to change a bobbin. To remove your hoop from your machine, press down on the lever at the back of the hoop. Slide the hoop towards you under the presser foot. 
To remove your embroidery unit from your machine, lift and rotate the embroidery arm back into the storage position. Holding the embroidery unit on either end, push the button on the left end of the unit and slide the embroidery unit away from the back of the machine. Again, for step-by-step -step instructions, simply ask your machine assistant. This quick start video is intended to help you learn the basic features on your new Foff Creative 2140 and to introduce you to all the great sewing information built into your new Foff. Visit your authorized Foff dealer to learn even more about your Foff Creative 2140, including project classes, embroidery, accessories, and quality service. You will soon discover this is just the beginning of your creative sewing experience. Check out the FOF website for important updates and project ideas. Thank you for purchasing your FOF Creative 2140, and we know you will find your sewing to be simply sensational.